Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop right into it. Get a high vibe affirmation. So we're going to see what high vibrational energy the universe wants us to be in today. Okay, Pisces, our high vibe affirmation today is smiles. Smile at someone. Look them in the eyes and see an amazing human creation. Miracles are everywhere in the form of you and every person you meet, right? So miracles are in everything and everybody, right? Smile at someone, look them in the eyes and see an amazing human creation. Miracles are everywhere in the form of you and in everybody you meet. So smiles today, Pisces. Be happy, be merry, right? Let's see which divine doors are open to you today. Which divine door is open to Pisces at this time? And this is your divine door. And it is 1111. 1111, Pisces. So numbers in doubles, synchronicities in two. Don't hold back your love now. Life is meant for you. Right? 1111. Your divine door. Right? I'm going to read it one more time. Numbers and doubles, synchronicities in two. Don't hold back your love now. Life is meant for you. So today is all smiles. Today you have a divine presence with you. Your angels are with you, Pisces. You might be seeing divine numbers and doubles. You know, things might be, you know, in sync with one another. And today the universe is saying, smile, don't hold back the love, give love to people. You know, a smile can brighten someone's day. You know, life is meant for you. So live it, be in the moment. Don't hold back. Smile at somebody. Uh, give somebody a nice gesture. That shirt looks nice. Or oh, you're beautiful today. You know, look someone in their eyes and be confident and know that you could be a blessing for that person today. That person could be a blessing for you today simply by showing love through a smile or a compliment. You know, so that's your divine door, Pisces, and it's strong, okay? And it looked like it's built to last. So that's how we doing on our soul's journey, Pisces. Let's hop right into it and collect the energy of your person. So let's see what is the energy of Pisces person and how are they viewing this connection? All right. Love and light. Blessed be. All right. What is the energy of Pisces person? We have the queen of pentacles. Pisces, this is somebody who likes the finer things in life. A fairly solid person. Someone who's loyal, dedicated. Someone who loves their family here. But they're conflicted at this time. This person is conflicted at this time about you. Probably about how solid you are. Right? King of Wands. Right? This person is um, very patient. Kind of holding it together. You know, it's like, okay, this king of wands, you know, they know how to hold themselves steady through chaotic situations, right? So you all may be, this person feels like there's a situation going on that requires them to be in their strength. So this person may be acting like they don't care about the beef that you and them having, but they actually do, right? Ooh, the devil. They so care, Pisces. They so attached to you and hooked on you, obsessed with you. And maybe the conflict is simply them ooh, not being as close to you as they want to be. Let's see. This person is worried about something, Pisces. Let's hop into this and see what's going on in this person's feelings and emotions, right? So let's see. What is the conflict about? What is this person feeling conflicted by? Their own manifestation, Pisces. 
they're conflicted by their own manifestations. This person, what did this person manifest between them and Pisces? You know, the Eight of Wands, a lot, okay? They had a lot of things that they want to do with you, Pisces, but I don't think that it happened the way they wanted it to happen. Things took a turn, right? Things just started speeding up. Things took a turn here. What if this person was manifested for them in Pisces? Okay. So it's like this person probably tried to come at you, Pisces, with some good news here, right? Maybe something you didn't expect. Something unexpected happened for this person and they felt like it was a good thing, but I don't think it turned out so good, Pisces. But this person was coming at you wanting to offer you something that involves love, okay? Fish, a fish. Maybe they wanted some of your fish, you know what I'm saying? And maybe they thought they were going to get it here, but I don't think they did. I don't think things went the way they normally go and it created conflict within this person, right? This person may have came at you with the devil, you know, in a lustful nature, something that they desire from you, which is probably your fish. You know what I'm saying? That they were manifesting and then they were coming at you too fast. You know, the eight of wands, too much going on, a lot of fast movement, a lot of forward movement here. So there was some progress made through a conversation, but it wasn't beneficial for your person. Right. It actually pissed them off that they couldn't get your fish, but they're trying to sit up there and act like it really don't bother them when it does here. Right. You were solid. That's what it is. Pisces. They looking at you as this queen of cups. They made you an offer and you stuck to your guns and it pissed them off. Right. It pissed them off, but they tried to act like it was cool, like it didn't bother them here. Pisces. So let's see. Your person's showing up as the king of wands, right? So let's see. How is this person? What, what type of conflict is this person holding? Why are they trying to act like this situation is bothering them? Because they're trying to stay grounded here. They're trying to stay grounded and they want to give so much more to this situation. Right? They want to give so much more to this situation and they can't because you set a boundary with this five of wands. You set a boundary here. So why is this king trying to hold it together here? Right? Because they, they feel like they have to fight for you, Pisces. This person feels like they have to fight for you. And, and, and at this point, they're not giving up on you. They're actually starting to break down their boundaries and they're wanting to let you in here. They want to give to the situation and it's killing them inside that they can't because you refuse to give them the fish and it pissed them off so bad, right? But they want to keep things balanced between y'all because they still want to give to the situation. It's like you stick it to your guns. You set a boundary for this person. I don't know if this is a, a past or present person. I don't know if you in a connection with this person. I don't know if it's your sneaky leak, your side piece or your main piece. Whatever it was, you refuse to give up what's between your legs, right? You set a boundary. This person was manifesting the fish, and he was doing, he was doing, or she was doing anything that they could with this eight of wands to try to get it. But you turned your back on this person by setting that boundary. You was like, no, I have a responsibility for myself, for my family, for my children. I deserve better because I felt like this person liked it, the finer things in life. But this is you feeling like you deserve better than just to be somebody's comrade. We not about to just be having sex and doing all these things like we solid, like we man and woman or in a relationship. When, when it all boils down to just what's between my legs, I'm, I value myself more. I value my situation more. So I'm setting a boundary right i'm setting a boundary and it pissed this person off because they wasn't expecting that right so let's see what else what other kind of chaos this person trying to hold you know together and it's the three of cups this person is 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 trying to hold back what they feel this person is trying to really hold back what they feel because in all honestly they they want to reconnect with you they want to enjoy you here. They pissed off, but they still got a lot of love for you.
but they not telling you or showing you here. They just standing there with this blank face, King of Wands. They just standing there with this blank ass face, like nothing fazes them and nothing bothers them. So Pisces, if you had to put your foot down and set a boundary between you and this particular person, don't think for one minute that they're unbothered. They're they're definitely bothered. They're they're just good at, you know. They're just good at putting on a show of 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 nothing. They put they they good at uh, showing how. What am I saying and how do I need to say this? Because it's not coming out right. So this person is good at hiding what they feel. You know when they when they touched in a, or feeling a sensitivity moment, they're good at hiding that from the world. Right? It isn't just you. They're they're good at not. They're, they got a strong poker face, right? So let's see what this devil energy about Pisces because this person has a strong attachment to you. They're obsessed with, with your fish. Their fish is what they want, okay? They're obsessed with it. And, and, and it's like they have this connection to you, this obsession with you and this soul contract with you. However, they're in too deep. They're in their feelings way deeper than what they put putting on. So let's see. What is this devil energy for Pisces person? And we have the temperance Pisces. It's like this person is going to be patient with you. They're going to be patient. This isn't over. Right? They're, they, they really want to mix that energy here. They really want to bring this situation into balance. They want to give to it. They want you and them to be back on the same page, right? They want this balanced out, the situation, right? So what is this devil energy? And it's the nine of pentacles here. <sighs> oh, man. I got to clarify this nine of pentacles because I see them... Wanting to know something. Maybe they want to know if you're single. Because you look at this nine of pentacles and look at that bird. It's like I'm I'm trying to get a message. It's like this person may be sending someone to spy on you or question you. It's like um, they want to know if you're single. They want to know. That, Pisces, they want to know if you're giving it to somebody else. They want to know. Are you giving that fish to somebody else? Look at that. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They want to know, are you giving that love to somebody else? Because you're blocking them out. Right? You're blocking them out of your home. You're blocking them out from having this new beginning with you, Pisces. It's like you ending a cycle with this person and like you moving forward too confident. Look at this, Pisces. It's like you too proud of, you know, yourself at this time for really, you know, setting that boundary and, and taking control of taking your power back from this person pretty much, you know, and you moving forward confidently here. Even though you feel like this person may be your twin flame, your strong will and desire to be treated better, to be valued more, you know, you taking a stand for yourself, your strong will for that is overpowering this energy of this person, right? You like, if I can't get what I want, then I'm going to end this cycle, right? I'm going to cut the course to this situation because it's not serving me, right? I'm going to have a new beginning all by myself. I don't need nothing and nobody. That's the attitude, right? This person is upset because you blocked them out of your home. You blocked them out of your establishment, your world, right? You got that guarded energy. And they wondering if you sitting up here giving your love to someone else, right? Because it's like the toxic, the the, the, the obsession of that this person is having it's like the thought of you sleeping with somebody else or giving it to somebody else is what highly concerns this person. So it's like this person kind of want their cake and eat it too. You want commitment here with the Queen of Pentacles. You coming up as the Queen of Pentacles. So you solid, you grounded, you you want commitment, right? You want to be reassured that you protected. You you need to be sure, 
right? That this is the right move. And obviously you're not feeling so sure. So you turned your back, you set a boundary. I'm not going to keep giving up what I give up, okay? Because I value myself. I honor myself, right? And this person over here wanting to get that back, wanting you two back on the same track, wanting to bring this situation into balance, but they're, they're not, you know, they're sitting there with the straight face acting like they're unbothered by the whole situation. When truly they is, they want to know who you out here dealing with? Are you single? Are you by yourself? Or are you mixing energy with somebody else? Right? Because they still got love for you. They still want to love on you. And they don't tell you these things. They don't tell you how how deep they in with you. Right? They, they, they come off as if they don't care. They don't express how they truly feel about you. And what they truly feel about you is deep. And they obsess with the thought of you sleeping with somebody else just kills them inside. So let's see what what else comes with the devil. And it's the, it's the ace of swords. So this person is definitely trying to figure out if you got somebody else. Because they can't understand why you not giving it to them. You understand why because you value yourself. You refuse to just be somebody's comrade, period. You value yourself. You don't want to give up the goods no more because you want something more committed. You want something that's built to withstand the test of time. And you see this person as somebody could do it, right? But this person more focused on passion and, and, and what's between your legs, right? And you set that boundary and it, and, it, and, it, and it upset them, but they acting like it don't bother them, right? They want to give to this situation, Pisces. They don't, they not ready to give up on this situation. They still want some love from you. They still love you or got a thing for you. They actually really obsessed, but they just good at hiding it. They good at hiding the fact that they want to bring this connection into balance. They good at hiding the fact that they may have somebody, you know, kind of watching you to see what you doing to see if you got somebody else. This person is seeking the truth. You know, they obsessed with trying to figure out, are you sleeping with somebody else? Because they can't figure out why you don't want to give them that fish, right? So let's see, what is this nine of swords? Why is this person so worried and concerned about what Pisces is doing? Because they know you're solid, right? Ten of Pentacles. This, this is, this is really uh, building a strong foundation. Really not needing them. They know you don't need them. They know you're going to be happy and good with your life. With or without them. They know you good. They know it's a lot of love around you. They know it's a lot of people who want you. Right? So they worry. They worry because you beautiful. Right? You solid. You, you, got, you know how to take care of yourself. You know how to take care of your family. You a high value man or a high value woman, right? So it's like they concerned because losing you for them is truly not an option. But they ain't coming in speaking on it, right? So what else is this person concerned about? Are you deceiving them? Are you giving it away, right? Did, did Pisces just steal my heart? Or did they just deceive themselves, right? Because this person is concerned that they played themselves out of something good, out of something solid, right? For being non-committal, because I don't see this person being committal. They King of Wands, this is a player type of person, right? They want their cake and eat it too. And you probably dealt with their shit for a long time, and it just got to the point where, you know, you started to value yourself more, respect yourself more. And now they want you more here. Five of Cups. They concerned because they sad about the decisions that they've made. Because you, they two of Cups, Pisces. This person loves you. So they disappointed in the decisions that they made, Pisces. Of being a non-committal person or whatever it was. Because that Two of Cups lets me know that this person still has a lot of love for you. So let's hop over here to you, Pisces, with the Queen of Pentacles. And, and see, you know, what happened and why did you just all of a sudden take that stand? You know, why did Pisces take that stand? 
Because, like I said, you value yourself. Some of you may even be with child. You value yourself. You stop trying to control the situation. You started flowing to the beat of your own drum, right? You start nurturing your situation and you realize who you are. And you don't need this person to be there to sex you up and down because you want more than to be just somebody's comrade. You want stability. You feel like an empress. You want an emperor, not a king of wand. You don't want nobody who's not ready. You want something that's real. So you release the need to control the situation and gain the need to control yourself. Right? So what, well, what else is going on? Look, <laughs> I, I said it. You want an emperor, not a king of wands. You want somebody who's sure about themselves, somebody who's a great leader, somebody who's a good protector, somebody you can trust with your emotions, somebody you can trust that will be there for you, that will match your energy, right? Not somebody who just want one thing from you. You an empress, you want an emperor, and you want something solid and committed, Pisces. And you just took control over the situation. You took your power back from this person because you want something that matches your energy, right? You could have met your emperor, right? You could very well be seeing somebody else. And this person is upset about it, but they know it ain't nothing they could do about it because they ain't step up. Right? So let's see what else comes with this Queen of Pentacles. It's the Two of Cups, Pisces. You may have very well found somebody else to complete you. It's either that or this person is going to come in and give you and be that emperor to you. <coughs> because they already know you don't need them. They already know what, what you come with and what you want and what you expect. So it could be either way, but I feel like it's somebody new who done stepped up and you had to cut a boundary with a person you was just seeing or fooling around with because something real came along. What's crossing the energy is the Hierophant. Something very real came along, Pisces. Somebody may have even proposed to you, right? Right? This is you learning lessons as well. This is you being in that wisdom of yours, you know, being a guru, being a master of yourself, being in tune with your spirituality, practicing that self-love, doing all that work on yourself, right? It gives you power. It gave you strength. It gave you knowledge. It gave you wisdom, right? Right? So you just took control over the situation, Pisces. You took back your power. You started taking care of yourself and loving on yourself. And, and now you found something committed or something committed is coming towards you, Pisces. So I hope this resonated. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. Look at all them heart chakras flew out. All right, come on. Come in with the most relevant chakra message for Pisces. Right? We have the third chakra, and it's the solar plexus chakra, and this one is relevant to self-confidence. I trust myself fully. I will not allow fear or doubt to hold me back from doing what I am here to do. I have confidence, beliefs, and convictions in my abilities and goals. I welcome questionings by others as this gives me a chance to clarify my truth, philosophies, and ideas. I trust in a higher power and I am open to new challenges. So self-confidence here, right? Somebody got their confidence back. It's our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.